This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4465-68-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valerian-group.com to report it. You may also call 813-527-1276. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386-943-5367 or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is located in Orange County at the intersection of North Mills Avenue, also known as State Road 15, and Mount Vernon Street in the city of Orlando. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 4465-68-1. In 2018, an oversized vehicle struck the diagonal span traffic signal's overhead wires, causing temporary damage to the wires and shifting the concrete strain pole. In 2019, the District 5 Safety Office of the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, requested these signals be re-spanned to current standards. The purpose of this project is to reconstruct and upgrade the existing diagonal span traffic signals with mast arm traffic signals and improve overall public safety. As previously mentioned, there are currently diagonal span traffic signals at the intersection of North Mills Avenue and Mount Vernon Street. The department is planning on installing dual mast arm signals at this intersection. Other proposed improvements include pedestrian signal upgrades and reconstructed pedestrian curb ramps to improve public safety. 
Constructing the requested dual mast arm signals at this intersection will enhance safety and improve vehicle mobility, as well as provide aesthetic continuity along that portion of North Mills Avenue. To improve pedestrian safety, including the safety of students and their families, sidewalk and ADA ramp reconstruction is planned at this intersection. Sidewalk repair and lighting upgrades to improve visibility will further enhance pedestrian safety. Additionally, crosswalks will be shifted as needed to align with reconstructed sidewalks and ADA ramps, and new signing and pavement markings are also proposed. Along with ramp reconstruction, the department plans to widen the concrete pavement at the curb. Widening the curb improves maneuverability for buses and larger vehicles. It also helps reduce a vehicle's likelihood of driving over the curb and ADA ramp landing area. The project location is adjacent to Hillcrest Elementary School. Rest assured that the department is taking into account all users of this intersection in planning any temporary traffic control measures. FDOT is also coordinating these efforts with local officials and agencies, including Orange County Public Schools, Lynx, and the Orlando Utilities Commission. Moving forward, the design on this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in summer 2023. The improvements on this project will be constructed entirely within the existing right-of-way and therefore will not require property acquisition. Construction for this project is anticipated to begin in early 2024 at an estimated cost of $412,000. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 6, 13 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. Those attending in person are invited to ask questions and share feedback with project team during the meeting. To submit a comment for the project's public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4465-68-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at stefan.levine at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5394 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 4465681 in the search box at the top right, and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Tuesday, September 6, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project 
forward slash 446568-1. Have a good evening.